Marine Atlantic says pets are welcome on their ferries. And a Dartmouth man says crew were anything but welcoming to him and his dog on a recent trip to Newfoundland. Now, Marine Atlantic is offering an apology. The CBC's Axel Rosori reports. Pips has already had enough trauma in his life. He broke two legs and his hip after his previous owners threw him out of a moving car. Pips' current owner says the last thing the collie needed was to be locked up in a kennel for 17 hours on a ship without a single deck break. But that was the final word Malcolm Bain got from a ship steward during a recent ferry crossing from North Sydney to Argentia. So I told her, I said, I felt that was an inhumane method of treating a dog as it had to stay for 17 hours in a kennel. And she says, if you don't like that, she said, write to Marine Atlantic. Marine Atlantic's website says if you bring your dog, it has to stay either in the car or in a kennel provided on board. And yes, you can take it out for a walk on the car deck. Just be sure to clean up after it. And I had an interview with the captain and he authorized me to go down, providing I cleaned up after the dog, which I had no problems with. Marine Atlantic says ever since the BC ferry disaster two years ago, it has made extra efforts to keep passengers off car decks. It admits some crew members have taken this a bit too far. Bain says he ran into more hassle on the way back. Marine Atlantic apologizes and Bain has accepted. Marine Atlantic insists its pet policy hasn't changed. Dog owners get to walk their animals twice each crossing, weather permitting of course, and under supervision by crew. For CBC News, I'm Otsuritsori in St. John's.